Let's be honest, when we get access to a new technology with a detailed manual, we often throw it straight in the trash because no one has time to read that detailed manual. But without that manual, we don't know the ins and outs to use the technology in the best possible ways. And that's why today I'll be taking you through some hidden features and settings in Microsoft Teams that will transform the way that you work with Teams, making every day at work much more smoother when it comes to working with Teams. And alongside the tricks that you're going to find in today's tutorial, if you also want to transform the way that you work in Teams meetings, why not grab our latest and free ebook via the link in the video description below. It'll show you some exciting new ways and make your Teams meetings even more successful. So let's head into Teams and make it work for you rather than against you. So let's get started with a big one, the activity feed in Microsoft Teams. It feels at the moment that near enough every event gets pushed into your activity feed and those notifications can become really distracting. So how can you stay in control of all of your notifications in this feed? Well, to do that, there's a couple of ways. Inside of your activity feed, head down to the free dot menu and select notification settings. But you can also get to this menu directly from your team settings by selecting notifications and activity. And in here, you can now begin to make changes to these notifications that are happening in your activity feed. One of which I know I've turned off personally is when I've been invited to meetings. Because I already get an Outlook email with an invitation, I don't need to also see that in Microsoft Teams. Just scroll down to the calendar section and here you can see that new invites, updates and cancellations sent to me will also generate a notification in my activity feed. So I'm going to go ahead and switch that off. Again, when people have forwarded meetings I've organised, it'll let me know in the activity. Once again, I'll turn that off. So in a couple of ways, you can simplify your activity feed to focus on the notifications that are important to you. And when you're working with your Teams chat, you'll often find that many of your old message threads just simply hang around and cause distractions. But in Teams, you can also hide inactive chats to focus on what's important to you. Inside of the chat here, all you need to do is click on the freed up menu and simply select hide. They will now be hidden from your Microsoft Teams chat. But not to worry, it is still available to you to also reference again. To do that, head into the search box at the top and I'll simply type in Matthew's name I had this conversation in Teams chat with. And you can see that this chat's been hidden so I can see all the hidden chat history and once again see it on the left hand side of my Teams chat. But in addition to that, we also have a number of channels inside of your Teams that you often won't use, and they also don't provide much value. And if you've got hundreds of Teams and channels, these are a quick way to hide them all. And there is now a new feature to do exactly that. Head into the freed up menu at the top of Teams and select Settings. Now go to Chats and Channels on the left hand side, and you'll see an option to hide inactive channels which is currently set as on. By selecting the Hide Now button, it will now show inactive channels that you're not working with and also pre-select them to be hidden. And of course, you can uncheck any of these if you want to keep it in your Teams list. But if you're ready, go ahead and hit the Hide button and now they'll be hidden from your Teams channels list inside of Microsoft Teams. And now we can see on the left hand side that our Teams list is now shortening and becoming less busy with all of those hidden channels. If you want to get them back, Head in to see all of your teams and then you can select any of the teams you're working within. For example, this London event. By left clicking, we can see the general channel here and I can once again select show to have it appear in the left hand side of my teams list. So it's a very easy way to hide your channels you're not working with. And did you know that when you're scheduling a meeting inside of Microsoft Teams, there's also options to be able to control your meeting in a better way. Here I am organising a meeting using a new Teams calendar. Alternatively, I could do this in the old Teams calendar or even inside of Outlook. Let's go ahead and select meeting options in the top ribbon bar and we'll now see a number of options that can be preset for your meeting. And there are some options that are really helpful. For example, you can change who can present within your meeting. It might be that there's only specific people that should present content. Alternatively, you can even select the ability to have meeting chat turned on or off in your meeting. 
and even disable the mic for attendees if you don't want anyone else to take the mic in the meeting. And also with Copilot integration, we can also now allow Copilot both during and after the meeting, which can also mean we can turn on AI generated note taking in the meeting itself, and even record and transcribe the meeting automatically. And so within just a few clicks, you now set up your meeting and you're ready to go when you join that Teams meeting. And when you're working in Teams, it's also difficult to get into other apps like Word and PowerPoint and Excel. And if you want to quickly reference files in those apps, did you know you can actually add those apps directly into Teams? Yes, from the left hand side, you've got your free dot menu. You can go ahead and for example, type in the word Word. You could also search for PowerPoint or even Excel. When you select these apps here, they'll now be available inside of Teams. What you can also do is right click this word icon and select pin, ensuring the app is now visible the next time you fire up Teams. And inside of this word integrated app in Teams, you can go and open existing content you've worked with directly from Microsoft Word inside of Teams. Alternatively, you can even create brand new content by going ahead and closing down this here and opening a brand new blank document, you'll see it also creates a brand new document stored in your OneDrive for Business account. So using these Office integrated apps inside of Teams gives you quick access to all of your existing files and even the ability to create new ones. And there's a quick way to send messages to your colleagues later on. Here I've got a message inside of my Teams chat I'd like to go and send to Alex to catch up later today. However, he's not in the office today, but I want to make sure this message is sent out promptly. So with the message now drafted, all I need to do is right click the send button inside of our Teams chat and I can select when this message should now be delivered. I'll go ahead and set this to be delivered tomorrow at 9am, because that's the time that Alex will be starting work. Let's now go ahead and click on the send button and we'll see it's been scheduled inside of our Microsoft Teams chat. If you need to make any changes, hover over it and select the pencil icon you'll now be able to change the time and date when it's sent or the wording of the message itself. So a simple way to schedule a Teams message to make sure the person has it right on time. And do you struggle on weekends and evenings with keeping those notifications on your mobile apps for Teams and Outlook to a minimum? Getting distracted when you're trying to spend time with the family or watch that all important movie or box set? Well in Teams we can make a change to your settings so it mutes those notifications in what we call quiet time. So all we need to do is go to the freed up menu on the left hand side of Teams and search for the app called Viva Insights. When you find the app here in Teams, go ahead and open it. And inside of Viva Insights, it gives you information on how you work and also how you could improve the way that you work. But let's head to Wellbeing on the left hand side. And now we can also see on the right, there's the ability to disconnect with quiet time. By selecting the button for set quiet time, and you can see here that it's already set up for me and I can go ahead and save the changes. Monday to Friday, including Sunday, there'll be no notifications on my mobile between the hours of 6 p.m. and 7 a.m. But also, there are no mobile notifications all day on Saturday and Sunday. Of course, you can make the changes here in what you think best works for you. For example, you might be on call on Friday evening. Go ahead and click on Save Changes. And as simple as that, you've now set quiet time for your mobile apps, ensuring you take that time needed from work. And how about a way to also manage your availability inside of Teams? What if you need to take a study day today and you also want to be marked as unavailable without updating your Outlook calendar to show you're in a meeting? Well, inside of Teams, head over to your name or profile picture in the right hand side and go ahead and select set status message. Here now you can define a status message to let people know that you're not in the office. And you can also check the box to show when people message me. And with that now set, I'll go ahead and customize it that tomorrow this will be cleared at 9 a.m. when I'm back working in the office. With that done, I've now have that set up, but I can also set my availability. By clicking on my busy icon here, I'll set duration and I can set my busy availability to be reset after today. So now we have our busy setup all day, which is now overriding anything on my Outlook calendar and even a status message to let people know that I'm not around. But how does that look and feel to someone who may message you on Teams? 
Well, I've logged into Alex's account and we can see here, even though Alex has sent me a message, he can see the status showing the status message I added, saying I won't be around till nine tomorrow. So he's aware I'm probably unlikely to reply or get those five minutes he needs of me today. And as we receive chats and channel posts throughout the day, it can be tricky to open them and work in those windows when you need to work inside of your files in Teams, right? Well, there's a simple way we can do that. As an example here in Microsoft Teams chat, I can select the freed up menu and simply select open chat in new window and ensuring that I can work on the files that I need alongside continuing the conversation with my colleagues, whether in Teams chat or Teams channel conversations. So popping out your chats and channels is a great way to work with your team and keep working with the files inside of Teams. And we know that many of you get frustrated working with Office documents and files inside of Teams because when you open these documents and files, you'll find you'll have to edit them inside of Teams or go ahead and select the editing button to open it in your desktop app. And whilst this change does relate to the Teams license you have inside of your business, you can make a change to open the Office files directly in the Office apps without going anywhere near the inbuilt Office apps in Teams. To do that, all we need to do is go to the freed up menu, select settings and head over to files and links. In the file open preference, if you have the option for desktop, go ahead and select it. Now the next time you go ahead and open one of your files inside of Teams, you'll find it works a little differently. For example, let's reopen one of our invoices and find now it opens directly inside of the Word app on my computer. And yes, it continues to stay in sync in Microsoft Teams, but now you can work with your Office files very quickly in an easy way on your computer. So what do you think about these hidden Teams features? Will they transform the way that you work with Teams? I'd love to know in the comments below. And also, if you haven't already, do hit the like button. It helps me know that this video has helped you and also the all important subscribe button. It helps our channel grow and also gives you brand new tutorials we put out every week to transform the way that you work. And not forgetting, if you want to improve the way that you work in meetings in Teams, grab our free ebook in the video description below. And other than that, well, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.